You're talking about the the vote that failed to yeah, remove what, Alejandro Mayorkas, or at yeah. least impeach him. Impeach him. Jeez, oh, they can't even get that done. I know. They can't even get that done. Anyway, Nevada. Wait, oh, I thought. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> the final vote last night, yeah. the, or yesterday, for the impeachment of Alejandro Mayorkas uh-huh. was two sixteen to two fourteen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't quite follow because it was two fifteen, two fifteen, and then that one guy, um, uh, Blake Moore <clears throat> from yeah. Utah, switched his vote so that they could do another vote as early as next week. I don't. What? I have not found an explanation for this, but every story I've read has like that sentence in it. I don't, don't get That's it. That's weird. I don't know. I, so, I just, hmm. Okay. I, right. I get, you could ask a follow up. I don't know. So they're going to the try again. Is. is that the? Yeah, it sounds like implication. It. Yeah, because you have because um, you had four congressmen vote vote against this. Um, it was uh, let's four see. Republicans. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if it was two fifteen to two four, yeah, I don't know. Two, it yeah, here we go. Count. It's two fifteen yeah. each. Yeah, so uh, they made it. So Roy Moore or Blake Moore switched it to uh, make it two sixteen, two fourteen. But Ken Buck, Tom McClintock, and Mike Gallagher, uh, Republicans that voted against it. I and I guess the thing that threw them off is Al Green showed up. I guess I don't know. He left his tour early. I don't know. But he, he came in and messed up <laughs> the dead. vote. He left and the so tour a long time ago. <laughs> oh, you got oh, I got so and MTG, then I got, yeah. MTG. Pat can explain a little bit more because she has a good uh, reason that it should pass when oh, okay. this congressperson comes oh, back. Go really ahead, good. Joe. All right. Marjorie Taylor Greene. You know, I asked for everyone to be able to come inside because it was really cold Show and they don't do that. <laughs> okay. Congresswoman, what's your reaction to that vote? Um, we knew it was going to be close going in. Um, because our majority is so razor thin. Um, Of course, my colleagues that voted no, I think they'll be hearing from their constituents. Um, But we have a plan in place. There was a motion to recommit, uh, and that means that we can bring the articles of of impeachment back to the floor maybe as early as next week. Mm -hmm. So this is not over yet, and we still can bring back uh, Steve Scalise, and we hope Mm -hmm. that he's he's well and he can come back very soon. There you go. We look forward to having him come back, and we look forward to him being a solid yes on impeaching Secretary Mayorkas. Mm -hmm. What's unclear is if it was 215-215, could they not vote again if it was a tie? That's weird. That's weird. Somebody call C-SPAN. Get him on the phone. Yeah. Uh, I know that uh, Chip Roy and Thomas Massey both voted... to impeach him. To impeach him. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I, I've looked, I haven't seen Massey's explanation because, you know, he's kind of against this stuff. Yeah. You know? Well, uh, he's against it if you're elected. If you're represented. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's mm-hmm. true. I mean, they, they but, changed the rules to get him into office to begin with. Well, so the thing I saw uh, Massey tweet out was something about how, because under DHS is Secret Service. And so that's Mayorkas. And he said that, um, you know, he's been obstructing. The J6 investigation because Secret Service agents destroyed their phones or erased text and stuff like that, and Mayor- Mayorka stood in the way of gathering that information. So um, okay. I-, I think he might have uh, voted uh, with that in mind. I mean, that mm. that's a interesting take there. Mm. Because you think of just the border being lawless is reason enough to impeach him. But bottom mm-hmm. line is, even if it gets through the House, Senate's not going to convict right? no they're not going so he won't be removed mm-hmm. but at least still he'll be he'll have been impeached i mean that's what they use with trump all the time twice impeached <laughs> twice okay he was impeached twice in one term twice okay i got it thank you thank you uh nevada now the nevada primary last night uh was uh fantastic for nikki haley well she got a little bit embarrassed well, okay, she was a lot embarrassed. That is hysterical. Well, she wasn't even on the ballot. Though. None of these candidates. He was. No, she was. She was. Trump was not. She was, and I believe Mike Pence. Oh. Donald Trump was not, which is why none of these candidates won. Well, with almost sixty-three percent of the vote. <laughs> that is sixty-three thirty-one. Oh, none of the above. That's awesome. So more than <laughs> double. How great is that? Her.